Okay, everybody. Um, I'm going to flip off the lights so you can see this for real, though. There we go. Um, we're recording. Good. This is 6.2, day number two. We're going to just go do a lot of practice, eat some candy, um, save our dentist's children, make sure that they have clothing and uh, are healthy. Right? So we're just going to eat candy in order to do that for them. We are sacrificing our teeth for those kids. That's what we're doing today. Okay, so um, what I want to do is I am going to do an, an example of polynomial synthetic division with imaginary numbers. We're going to say that this cubic polynomial, right, third degree polynomial, can have at most how many zeros? Three. It can at, at most touch the x-axis three times, right? Is it possible for it to have zero x-intercepts? No, not with an odd power, right? Because it's got to go in opposite directions. Is it possible for it to have two real solutions? Yes. Is it possible for it to have only one? Yes. And three, of course, we know is true as well. Um, I'm going to tell you right now that one of the roots to that polynomial is I. What does that tell you about this polynomial? How many real roots must it have? Only one, because imaginary roots come in pairs, right? Just like you and your imaginary friend when you were little, you came in a pair. Imaginary roots come in pairs. So I'm going to do synthetic division with I, and then in a little bit, what am I going to do synthetic division with? Negative I. Oh, chomp, right? Because they come in par pairs, plus or minus root, or excuse me, plus or minus I. So let's do that. Let's attempt this. All right, so my coefficients will be 1, negative 3, 1, and negative 3. That's nice. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take that first number and drop it like it is warm. Okay, and I'm going to take i and 1 and multiply them together. And then I'm going to take negative 3 and i and do what with them? Add them, right? Synthetic will be add, so it'll be negative 3 plus i. Okay, now this is where it gets interesting, right? Because now I'm multiplying i times negative 3 plus i. So I have to distribute that. Ew. Right? So negative 3 times i is negative 3i. And i times i is i squared. Does anybody know what i squared is? Negative 1. OK, so I'm going to add 1 and negative 3i minus 1. What happens to the 1s? They go chomp. So I get negative 3i. What would happen if I multiplied i times i again? I'd get negative 3 times a negative 1, which is 3. Oh, weird. Weird. How would I write a polynomial for that? Well, fortunately, I don't have to. Because I don't want to write a polynomial out with that, right? Phew! So what am I going to do? I'm going to take... The imaginary friend, the other one, negative i, oops, negative i, and I'm going to do polynomial long division or synthetic division with this. Oh, let's see what happens. I'm going to drop that one like it is warm. I'm going to multiply negative i times one. I get negative i. Oh, oh, and look at that. The i's they cancel. Cha. So I get negative 3. And then when I multiply these two together, I get positive 3i, and then I get 0. Aww. So let's look at what our polynomial would be. Right? We had solutions of i, negative i, which gives me x plus the square root of what? Negative 1 and x minus the square root of negative 1. And then what's this last factor? Not 3. Well, the solution's 3, but this x minus 3. Oh, look at that. How many real roots? One. Only one. What's the end behavior? Down to the left, up to the right. Where does it cross the x-axis? At 3. Well, where's the other one happen, Mr. Ludd? Well, uh, to be honest with you folks, I can't tell you. I don't know. 
does the polynomial look like this? Maybe. Well, maybe maybe that little imaginary kid said, uh, it, here and here, those are the other imaginary roots. I, I don't I don't know, but they don't cross at X, they cross somewhere. Some imaginary axis. Oh. Isn't that cool? No. Yes, you love it. Say you love it. Good. You love it. Now you're going to hear one of the best Laffy Taffy jokes there is. Actually, yeah, that's it. Uh, but I want to tell this joke on here because it's funny. So I read a, I read a joke uh, a couple years ago. It was by this person. I don't know. His name is like, let's say Greg. He was from Pennsylvania. He was like 42. And submitted this joke to Laffy Taffy, which, by the way, is in Minnesota, um, where they take the jokes. Right? If you look on your Laffy Taffy, it will tell you that. And he said, what can bears have that no other animal can have? Baby bears. Like, subscribe, comment below. Thank you much. Yeah.